few years ago in October 2020, one of our close friends, Atom, who was a Sudanese refugee, had passed away. And I guess when that happened, um, we noticed that a lot of people in Mosman Park really noticed Atom in the streets but never approached him to have a chat. Sisterhood then emerged in honour of his life and to honour anyone that who might feel lonely or isolated in our community. I also don't think that this isolation and loneliness that has sort of seeped into our neighbourhood is one that was done by choice. It wasn't that people just decided that they want to live like away from everyone. This movement is one that doesn't believe in trying to just go back to a romanticised notion of community life where we just coexist alongside nature, but one where we're really called to learn about contributing to building an ever advancing civilization. So how can we support each other? How can we support our neighbours? How can we work with single parents or the elderly? We've had cooking up meals for other friends during COVID and we would drop off meals to people who might be isolated. We're very conscious of remembering the nobility of man, nobility of everyone's soul. So it's not a charity. Um, these acts of love and service are done in reciprocity. Everyone is gaining love and understanding and compassion. For many years, Mosman Park is it's quite a special, unique community. A lot of the locals send their kids to the local school. Everyone knows each other. It's quite a friendly community. But I think in recent years, more and more efforts through the community building efforts like junior youth groups, children's classes, study circles and social action and discourses has just allowed for more and more people to be connected. Currently there's a growing group of us in Mosman Park, a growing group of youth learning how we can better serve our community. One of them chose to learn about Let Deeds Not Words Be Your Adorning, that, that writing, and he was sharing throughout the week how it really helped him in his, in his studies and to stay on top of his studies because he, he had always been telling his parents that he was going to study, but he'd always been pushing it aside, but then having this quote on his mind, you know, he was like, my words and my deeds have to kind of be aligned. And I think something I found is the more we're united in a in a, in a group of people and working towards something allows us to be transformed in a way. So one thing that we've been learning about in Mosman Park is this very strong force of isolation. The World Health Organisation recently declared loneliness as an epidemic across the world and so the junior youth have committed themselves to every time they do a service project trying to build on what did we learn about last time about bringing our community together and trying to combat that force. So it's been a nice evolution of different ways of trying to meet that same learning objective, whether it was just bringing neighbours together for a community afternoon tea and having elevated topics about what brings them true joy, to having car washes that were set in one of the aged care facilities in Mosman Park and also brought together the people in that home who hadn't even spoken to one another until they came to the car wash event and also inspiring that intergenerational learning like these, these junior youth were only 14 or so when we first started these car wash series of car washes and they were interacting with 60, 70, 80 year olds who were other older women that had so much to share with them and so much to give. The key principle, the heart of it is oneness of humanity and when that happens, when we could say there's no disparity, there's no prejudice, there's opportunities for equality between men and women, intergenerational connection, I think the hope is having that oneness where that, this community becomes one big human family where everyone feels safe, connected, everyone feels like 
it's okay to say I'm not okay, I'd love a meal tonight please, or can we have a walk and a chat please, things have been hard. Bahala wrote to Queen Victoria, regard the world as the human body. In the human body, every cell, every organ, every nerve has its part to play. When all do so, the body is healthy, vigorous, radiant, ready for every call made upon it. No cell, however humble, lives apart from the body, whether in receiving it or serving from it. No matter where you are in our community, you do have something special to give and there are capacities in all of us to do that. I love social media cooking. I have learned a lot about cooking, different cuisines. I live opposite the public housing area. Now I feel more confident when I see people. I say, uh, do you need help? Are you coming next uh, social media time? Yeah. And they are happy to come to see us. It feels like more and more people, obviously they're coming to connect, they're chatting now more.